The time now, 12 minutes to seven. And back to the the autumn statement. Economic growth is weaker than expected. Austerity will proceed longer than expected. And there are different reactions to that news uh, from different parties. We will hear from Ed Balls later, of course. But we can get the views of UKIP. Now, Godfrey Bloom is UKIP's economic spokesman. He's also a member of the European Parliament. Good morning to you. Good morning. Good morning. And, and what is your reaction to uh, the Chancellor's statement yesterday? Uh, Well, the problem that we have here is, and I made the point a year ago, uh, that we are going to be stuck in a permanent recession until the Chancellor actually cuts public spending. Uh, Now, he hasn't cut public spending at all. In fact, it's either flatlining or slightly moving up. Uh, he's borrowing a hundred, a further hundred billion pounds a year. Every pound that he spends, eighteen pence goes to service the debt. So until he makes some very serious attempts to cut public spending, we're going to be locked in this recession for some time. You would cut public spending and use the money to cut taxes, or you would cut public spending and use the money to cut borrowing. Uh, Well, uh, both, because what would actually happen if you cut taxes significantly, you would get growth. And the only way that we can possibly get rid of the biggest debt in our history is by growth. We can't tax our way out of it. We have to grow our way. You're sounding a bit like Ed Balls there. I mean, obviously, you disagree with Ed Balls in the belief that you would have a smaller state, you'd have less spending and lower taxes than probably he would choose. But you are agreeing with him that the economy has a deficiency of spending and demand at the moment, that basically there are companies waiting to produce stuff, but they've got no one to buy it. Uh, well, you must leave more money in people's in people's pockets. Now, we have an extraordinary situation now where the government, this administration, has moved uh, public spending from 37% now to nearly 50%. That is unsustainable in any free entrepreneurial uh, economy, uh, and something needs to be done desperately, quickly. Uh, and the Chancellor, I agree with your... Uh, comment on Peter Oburn uh, uh, earlier, uh, that he's simply not taking this public spending problem and this debt problem seriously enough. But I, we I need mean, drastic I, I, cuts, drastic cuts. He's fiddling around uh, 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 the, the periphery. We really must get on and cut public spending. It's out of control. But I'm, I'm, I mean, the, the, the worry about the, the state, the, the, the strategy you're outlining is that if you, if, you, if you cut public spending, you lose demand and spending in the economy and you get into the so-called vortex of doom in which you... You make everything worse. If you try to do it all too quickly, you wreck the economy rather than improve it. But what you're suggesting is you don't wreck the economy because you're actually going to take the money out of public spending. You're going to re-inject it through tax cuts. So you would still have a you'd still have the kind of tens of billions of borrowing, wouldn't you, out of all of that? Uh, What we've got here is this great Keynesian myth that public spending actually puts money into the economy, and it doesn't. Public spending takes money out of the economy. And what we need to do, perhaps, is to look back at the 1920-21 Warren Harding administration uh, in the United States, where a recession depression was avoided because they drastically cut public spending. And And, that's what he's got to do. Crucially for your plan, you need to cut taxes. You're not trying to cut borrowing. So you actually are kind of Keynesian, uh, Mr Bloom, because... You're, no. you're suggesting that the tax cuts will stimulate the economy. Uh, tax cuts will stimulate the economy, and it will actually. Said, grow- Keynes would uh, well, that. no, uh, tax cuts. No, public spending will not. Tax cuts will, and you can only cut taxes uh, by cutting public spending. Now, let right. me just give you a very quick, very very uh, brief. Uh, just, just okay, five uh, my my my, uh, my constituency have uh, manufacturing uh, industries, caravans, which are on twenty percent VAT. They're now down to a three day week, so the government isn't raising any more money at all. all this right. is uh, it's the madhouse. It's the madhouse. You must stop. Public Godfrey spending. Bloom. Godfrey Bloom from UKIP. Thanks.